Hi folks, welcome to this iProcess webcast. Today we talk about functional safety test cases. It is common misconception that test engineers are just inventing their test cases out of hot air. This is true for functional tests as well as for functional safety tests. As most of you know, when looking at the development of a product, the process looks suspiciously V-shaped. Hence we call it a V-cycle or V-model. But why is that the case? Well, on the left side, you break down the requirements from system into component, you create architectures and designs. And on the right side, you integrate and validate on the same levels until you reach a fully working system in the end. But that could also be drawn just a simple arrow, yet it is a V. Reason for that is that there is a connection between the levels on each side. So the system tests over here are associated with the system requirements over there. The integration tests here are based on the architecture over there. So far nothing new, I hope. Now where is the functional safety in that concept? It starts with a hazard analysis and risk assessment, which is located over here at the top. There's a link to a detailed video about the HARA in the description. But on a high level, this analyzes all hazards that can occur for the user of a product. And it derives automotive safety integrity level based on exposure, severity, and controllability. The agreed measures to detect and handle these hazards find their way into the system requirements. Now the design failure modes and effect analysis located over here is looking into possible malfunctions within the system. These malfunctions can be associated with the hazards derived in the HARA and should be linked. The malfunctions are listed together with the detection methods. And here we are. Everything you need to create functional safety test cases. The malfunction defines what error you introduce into your system and in what situation. The detection method is the expected behavior you need to test for. And from the link to the HARA, you can also define what hazard has to be avoided. As a matter of fact, links to these test cases are the needed proof of action taken to conclude the DFMEA line items. DFMEAs can and should be created for each level of the system and therefore will provide input for functional safety test cases on each level of testing as well. As always, iProcess can help with guidance, templates and workshop moderation. Check our website for more information.